chicken and stuffing casserole. And while you're getting your ingredients together, have your oven preheating at 400 degrees. You're going to need one box of stuffing mix, any stuffing mix you want. I'm using stove top chicken. Then you're going to put one and a quarter cup hot water in there. Mix that together. Then you're going to set that to the side and let it soak up the water. You're going to cook two cups of chicken, chicken breast, chicken thighs, whatever you want to use and cut them up in chunks. I already cooked that on the stove with salt and pepper or you can buy rotisserie chicken and cut that up in chunks too. Then you're going to add a can of cream of chicken or any cream soup that you want to use. Cream of mushroom, cream of celery, cream of broccoli. And then you're going to need a third cup of sour cream. Now you're going to mix all of that together with the chicken. And then this is optional. I'm going to add a cup of mushrooms that I have to use up. These are mushrooms that were in a jar. Or you can use fresh mushrooms. Just cook them ahead of time. So I'm going to mix that up in there. Then you're going to get yourself a baking dish. Spray it with cooking spray. You're going to spread that out. Now you're going to add the stuffing, it's already soaked up the water, you're going to add that to the top. Spread that out. And you can add turkey to this too if you don't want to use ch uh, chicken. Now I'm going to cover it with a lemon and foil. and put it in your oven for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to check it at 20 and see what it looks like. I just pulled it out of the oven. I cooked it covered for 20 minutes, then I uncovered it and cooked it 10 more minutes. I'm going to let it cool down. Now, I'm telling you, do not add extra salt to this except for your when you're cooking your chicken. Unless you use pre-cooked chicken, like rotisserie chicken, and don't then don't add any salt at all, because the soup and the sour cream that you added and your stuffing has salt in it. 
plate it up and try it for you. I made some green beans to go with it and a yeast roll. I'll try it for you. Mmm. That is really good. This would be good also for if you have leftovers from Thanksgiving dinner to make a casserole out of your dressing or stuffing, whatever you call it, and your turkey and just make a casserole out of it, that would be a good idea too. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.